This is the fifth video in our lesson on completing the square. It has been a very long lesson today. I'm sorry. So hopefully this example will go a little bit faster because we've now done two different ones and I have my set of instructions to follow. So we're going to see if we can take this, complete the square to write it in vertex form, and then we are going to state the transformations, which is what the original question asks. So first thing we're going to do is group together our terms that have x's. So that is the 9x squared and the 18x. And we are going to factor out the number in front of x squared. So I am going to factor out the 9. So 9x squared divided by 9 is 1x squared or just x squared. Negative 18 divided by 9 is negative 2, and then it has an x. And then that plus 3, we do not divide by 9. It is patiently waiting for everything else to happen before it gets its turn. Okay, we're going to find two numbers that are the same that add to the middle term. So we're trying to take this and write it as three terms. So this should be x squared minus 2x, and then plus or minus something. I need to figure out those numbers. So the middle term is the 2x. So we're looking for two numbers that are exactly the same that add to negative 2x. So over here at the side, we are going to look for two numbers that add to give me negative 2x. And I did put a little note to myself here that I can divide by 2 to help me figure that out. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So negative 1x and negative 1x would work. And then I would multiply those two together. That's what it says, multiply those numbers to get the missing number. So negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1x squared. So the x squared came from that first term, and then this number here should be a positive 1. So this should be a positive 1. However, we have to add and subtract the missing number in the bracket. So I can't just add a 1 that changes my equation. So we also do the opposite and subtract 1. However, that negative is not really part of the bracket that I'm looking for. So we are going to multiply the negative out of the bracket, right? The reason it's in the bracket is to show that it's being multiplied by 9. So if I multiply it by 9, it doesn't need to be in the bracket anymore. Okay, so this is going to be y equals 9 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. Those are the things that I want inside the bracket. And then we're going to do 9 times negative 1. So 9 times negative 1 is negative 9, and then plus 3. All right, what does it say on the other side of my card? It says simplify the numbers outside of the bracket. So that negative 9 plus 3, so I have 9 times x squared minus 2x plus 1. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. You can use your calculator. And then my very last step here says, factor the bracket. So the x squared minus 2x plus 1, I am going to take that off to the side. And we are going to see if we can factor that. So I am looking for two things that multiply to 1x squared and add to negative 2. I've already worked the numbers out. Right? That was part of my completing the square process, so I can actually just reuse those. So I have x squared minus 1x minus 1x plus 1. I'm going to group the x squared and the negative 1x and the negative 1x and the 1 together. First pair both divide by x, so x squared divided by x is x. Negative 1x divided by x is negative 1. I always take the sign that's in between the pairs, so that's going to be a minus. And then 1x plus 1 don't really have anything in common, although they do both divide by a 1, 
So I am going to say that they divide by 1. And we're not just dividing by 1. We are dividing by negative 1. So negative 1x divided by negative 1 is just 1x or x. And then 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. Since these brackets are the same, that tells me that I've done this correctly. And it also tells me that in the original multiplication question, that second bracket was an x minus 1. The first bracket comes from the other parts in front, so x and minus 1. All right, x minus 1 times x minus 1 is x minus 1 squared. So I'm going to replace the x squared minus 2x plus 1 with x minus 1 squared to get my final vertex form of y equals 9 times x minus 1 squared minus 6. All right, there is one last thing we need to do. The question originally said complete the square and then state the transformations. So in our A position, we have 9. So that is a stretch of 9. In the H position, we have a negative 1. So that is going right 1. And in our K position, we have negative 6, which is going down All right, I'm sorry that the lesson today took so long. There were so very many parts, um, but there are six practice questions for you to try in the rest of the handout, and that will be your homework for today. All right, and tomorrow we are going to practice more completing the square. Bye.